Hello everyone and welcome back to MC Diamond Fire Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a chess GUI. Now the practical uses for this is mainly kit PvP, adventure maps, basically cleaning up your hotbar so you're not cluttered with items. So to do this, it's actually pretty simple. I've gone ahead and I've already set up the map we're going to use today. I have a simple chest here and a few markers that I'm going to explain later. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is we're going to need to, when the player joins the game, we're going to do a couple housekeeping rules, we're going to disable PvP for them, and we are going to give them an effect of s saturation. Now this is just going to make sure they don't starve on our plot while they are playing our game. You don't have to do this step, but I highly recommend it for any game that you ever make. So now, once we have that set up, we're actually going to create the GUI for that chest. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to place down a right click function. Now, when a player right clicks, we want to make sure they're looking at that chest. So we're going to need to put down an if, player is looking at block, pull out a location paper, go over to our chest and right click it. If you have a double chest, just right click one of the chests. You don't need both locations. Go ahead and put this paper right into the chest. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to place a game action within this if statement. We're going to need to set it to empty chest. And then we're just going to take the location we already got and we're going to put it right into this chest. Now I use a middle mouse button to easily copy items, but you may not have that. So you might have to go and reset the location again. We're also going to need to place another game action but this time with a fill chest. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the location in here and a few example items. So let's use maybe three different colored dies. Now maybe we'll name this one, I don't know, Kit, we'll call it Kit Archer. We'll put this one in here. We'll call this one maybe Brute. And we'll call this one maybe, let's go Ninja. That sounds cool. All right, so what we've set up is if we go take a look with mode play, when they open up the chest, they're going to see these items which they can freely take out. And when they open up the chest, it's like that again. But what we want is when they take an item, it automatically closes the chest and gives them the kit. So to do that, back to our code, what we're going to need to be able to do is detect if they have a certain item. Now to do this, we're going to need to use loops. Go back to your join function and add a block on that is start loop. Then go over to somewhere in your code and place a loop block. We're going to set it to 10 ticks, which is two rounds per second. So this line will run two rounds every second regardless of what we do and we're going to need to see if the player has a certain item. Now going back over here, I'm gonna take these items back out and we're going to need a total of three if statements, one for each kit. You're gonna to wanna to set all these to if player has item. You're gonna to wanna to put one of these in each. So if they have the archer, we automatically want to close the chest, and to do that, we just need to teleport them a few blocks away from the chest. So, back to my markers here. You can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six blocks here, and that marks the minimum they have to be from the chest for it to automatically close. So if they're on this diamond block and the chest is over there, they're good. So we're gonna have them teleport here, Gonna go back to our chests, and we're gonna put the location paper in each of them. All right, the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to clear their inventory. 
Because remember, they still have that item in their inventory, but we don't want them to. So we're going to clear their inventory. And maybe for Kit Archer, we're going to give them the items of a bow. And maybe 12 arrows. Let's give them... Um, 10 is fine. 10 is fine for this example. Um, for Brute, maybe just a diamond sword. Um, oop, I put that in the clear inventory. So we need to give items. Sorry about that. And for the very last one, for Ninja, maybe we'll just give them an egg. Now let's rename this to... Slash rename and eight ninja flash bang. Now I'm not gonna actually code the flash bang because we're working on chest GUIs, but you guys kind of get the idea. This could be some super special secret power up item that you have in a kit. And let's go see what we have so far. So mode play. So they're here or wherever your spawn's at, you have a chest, they go up, and it says kit selector on it, they open it up, you have three kits coded. Now this chest could be completely full with kits and it's not nearly as cleared as an inventory bar. So maybe they want kit brute, so they take that item out, it's going to automatically teleport them back and give them the kit. So then they can go and PVP, or maybe this just teleports them to the arena. There's a lot of customizable abilities with this. So if that's all you're going to need, feel free to change it so uh, you like it. And I'm going to leave, leave me a comment below actually of what uh, tutorial you guys want to see next. That would actually help me so much. Alright, and that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching.